Okay, guys, H10. All right, this should go fast, hopefully. Um, I recommend highlighters, okay, for this one. And also, I'm going to do number one, but then number two, if you don't want to watch the video, just take a look at the, at the notes. But at least stick around for number one. Okay, so H10. You are given number lines representing values of F prime and F double prime with negative and positive intervals indicated. State the intervals over which the original function f is, and then we have four different scenarios, increasing concave up, increasing concave down, decreasing concave up, decreasing concave down. Okay, now for each of these scenarios, we're going to do a number line. All right, so for part A, actually, yeah, we're going to do four different, let me just go like this. All right, A, B, C, D. And last year, I was so surprised. So many people were able to just do this in their head, which was great. But I mean, so after this is a skill we're practicing that will be inside of a larger problem. So like if you can end up doing it in your head, that's great. But do the number lines, please, to show the work um, just this once. And then in the future, if you're asked this and you could just see it, more power to you. All right, so here is, um, okay, so so what you're going to do, guys, is you're, you, we're going to, I'll show you what we're going to do, but but do a number line, and then the end points on the F prime and F double prime intervals, just put them on here in order. So negative 8, 3, and 1. So this 1 is going to be between negative 8 and 3. All right, so we're going to have negative 8. We're going to have 1, and we're going to have 3. Okay, um, so I'm going to use, um, I guess I'll use blue for F prime, and I will use pink for F double prime. Okay, so first they want increasing and concave up. Well, increasing... F prime is what tells us about F increasing, okay? So F increasing corresponds to F prime positive. So I want the intervals where F prime is positive. So that's going to be um, from negative 8, should, uh, everything to the left of negative 8, and everything to the right of 3, okay? So on those intervals, F is increasing. Now I want F to be concave up. Concave up is going to happen when F double prime is positive. And that is happening for everything to the left of 1. And then, guys, you're looking for the overlap. All right, you're looking for where the pink and the blue overlap. So the overlap is because because where they overlap, those are the parts, those are the intervals where F is both increasing and concave up. Okay, so like, you know, right there, I guess. So here, here's our, our overlap over here. So the answer is going to be um, from negative infinity up to negative 8. Okay, now for B, C, and D, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so I start out with this number line. Negative 8, 1, 3. I'm just going to do it two more times. Okay, and guys, the, the one on the back is a little teensy bit different, but, you know, feel free. You're watching a lot of videos and... Thank you for being so, you know, cooperative, but it really is going to gonna benefit you in the long run. Okay. Um, all right, so part B, um, increasing and concave down. All right, so we've already established um, the increasing intervals. Okay, now we want concave down. That's going to be where F prime is negative, so to the right. All right, 
and then the overlap is here. So that is from three to infinity, from three to infinity, F is increasing and concave up. Okay, C, they want F to be decreasing and concave down. All right, so F decreasing is happening there. F concave down is happening here. So where, is, where do the pink and blue overlap? They overlap there. So that's from one to three. All right, and now D, decreasing and concave down. All right, so decreasing... Hmm. Wait, wait. Shoot. I mess up. I mess up. This, okay, so this is actually D. All right, and then we'll do this. This will be C. My bad. Okay, because, yeah, so decreasing higher. Right, so that's right. Answer. Answer for D. All right, and now this one. We've got this, and then, so I'm actually doing C here. I'm actually doing C. So decreasing and concave up is where F double prime is positive. All right, so here's, there's the overlap. Answer for C. Okay, guys. If you want to just go for it without the second example, be my guest. I'm going to do it, and I'll do it fast, okay? So this is number three. Same questions, but we have different, um, different number lines. All right, so A, B, C, D. Right, I'm just going to copy the, this number line a bunch of times. All right, so 2, 5, and negative 8. All right, so negative eight is over here. Two is there. Five is there. Negative eight, two, five. Negative eight, two, five. Okay, all right, and I'll do the same color coding. Blue and pink. Increasing and concave up. So I want F prime positive. F prime positive is here. Concave up, F double prime positive. So that's, okay, there is no overlap. So I will say no such interval, no overlap. Okay, so there's no part, there is no part where this original function f is both increasing and concave up. Part b, increasing and concave down. Okay, so increasing is f prime positive, concave down is F double prime negative. Okay, so here is our overlap from five to infinity. C, decreasing and concave up. Okay, F prime is decreasing. This is, this gets a, maybe a little tricky, but it's, it decreases. Okay, there, there's holes there. There, there's um, at two and five, F prime, those are critical numbers for F prime. So at two and five, F prime is either zero or undefined. And that tells us nothing about whether, that, that, that does not indicate increasing or decreasing on F. Because zero or undefined is neither positive nor negative. So it goes like this. Okay. So that's decreasing 
for f because f prime is negative, and now we need concave up on f double prime. So that is, okay. So we've got this overlap, negative infinity to negative eight. And then we need decreasing and concave down. Decreasing and concave down is when F double prime is negative. Okay. Um, now guys, remember where these holes are, F prime is neither positive nor negative, which means that F is neither increasing or decreasing. So you're going to have a union like this. It's going to be like here, but, oh, 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 oh. All right, so you're going to have an overlap here and then another overlap here. So it's negative 8 to 2, union 2 to 5. 